Hello. I've been doing a lot of JavaScript, actually, because what? I'm using Re React Native to create a new application we're calling Glider. Uh, I'm going to just kick it here and reload. So it's a, it's a code editor for phones and tablets, uh, and it loads and saves code uh, over Bluetooth. So you don't even have to uh, plug it in. This connection here to the iPad is actually to my computer. It's not to the Feather NRF 52840 Express here. And again, this is also to the computer and not, not to each other. So there's no tricks here besides Bluetooth, which is magical in and of itself. <laughs> so uh, it's going to scan and try to find the, the device, and then it will connect to it, which it looks like it did. And now it's loaded the current code.py um, off of the device itself. And the new thing that you can do is you watch the, well, you can do all sorts of different things. So if we want to um, basically make the blue go away. Yeah, make the blue go away. We can set it to zero, zero. And if I just wait a little bit, now you can see it's just blinking off and on. Now, it's mm -hmm. not very... You can't see it very long, so let's actually change the sleep after we set it. Yeah, change that to one. One, one. Yeah. Okay. I like how it knows its numbers, so it changes the keypad. It's nice. Right. Oh, look. Now it's blinking one yeah. second on. One now second. it's blinking slower. Mm. Um, yeah. So uh, it's it's trying to be smart, and it's actually parsing the Python file, as you pointed out. It's actually knowing that like the sleep value here is a number. Or the uh, the numbers here are uh, like hex digits, so it gives you yeah. the full keyboard instead. Mm -hmm. And theoretically, in the future, we can actually know that it's a color and give you a color picker, which is is kind of what I'm going for. So early days, but if anybody has React Native, JavaScript, TypeScript experience and wants to help out, uh, please, please, please reach out. We'd love to have more folks working on this. This is so cool. And, uh, I don't know. It's instant update. Where is the uh, repo if people want to check out where your work is? GitHub.com slash Adafruit slash Glider for the app. I'm pushing straight there, not pull requests or anything right now because I'm the only one working on it. And uh, the changes on the CircuitPython side are in a branch of my CircuitPython. So reach out if you want to see that as well. Okay, right on. All right, sweet. Nice All right. deal. Thanks, Scott. All right, thanks, Scott.